Cooling milk after harvesting it is an essential process that prevents bacterial growth and assures the milk's quality will be maintained. Milk leaves the cow at around 101 degrees and must be quickly cooled to around 38 degrees using the bulk tank's refrigeration system. The standard compressor-based system circulates liquid refrigerant through evaporator coils in the bulk tank. As the milk cools, the refrigerant warms, turning it from liquid to gas. It then flows out to a compressor, which raises both its pressure and temperature dramatically. The hot refrigerant gas then flows to a condenser, which rapidly cools it, turning it back into liquid. The refrigerant then passes through an expansion valve, lowering its pressure on its way back to the bulk tank. Condensing the refrigerant gas removes a significant amount of heat from the refrigerant, which is usually just expelled into the air by the condenser's fans. Since the milking system relies on a steady supply of hot water to flush milk lines, heat recovery systems work in tandem with a dairy's standard water heater to capture the heat given off by the refrigeration system and use it to preheat groundwater. Hot refrigerant gas is routed from the compressor and circulated through a heat exchanger located in the lining of a secondary water storage tank, heating the water to about 110 degrees before it enters the water heater, resulting in real energy cost savings. Compressor heat recovery systems can cut water heating costs by up to 50%, and by reducing the load on both the milk cooling system and the water heater, heat recovery units can both improve their performance and extend their life. They typically pay for themselves in two to five years with no financial assistance.